Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. I'm Jay Bond, and today I'm going to take a look at Arrow Video's brand new steelbook release of Blood and Black Lace from Mario Bava. This is a 2000 unit limited edition website exclusive. This is a single BD50 Blu-ray disc that's region A and B. Released in 1964, Blood and Black Lace cemented the rules of the classic Italian giallo genre and influenced giallo greats like Dario Argento. This is a brand new 2K restoration of the film from the original camera negative that's presented in 1.66 1080p. So the synopsis for Blood and Black Lace is six models, six victims for a crazed mass killer. It's really light on story, but the cinematography and the lighting and everything involved is is just masterful. Bava had a really cool way of replacing white lights with colored lights, so he directly influenced the style that is like the deep pinks and the greens and the blues that you see in Jalo film. That being said, the colors are very vibrant, the blacks are super deep, and they've actually stabilized the film, so all of those unique camera moves are super smooth, and you don't have to worry about those micro jitters that you might have seen in some other releases. The video quality is stellar, it's got this nice green to it and everything just looks super sharp. Before we get into more of the special features, I did want to talk about the packaging itself. It is a very slick looking steel book that if you tilt at the right angle, you can see the title of the film. It's got some great new artwork. Inside we have the single Blu-ray disc, the original artwork, and a 40 page collector's booklet featuring new writing on the film. Moving on to the special features, we have optional Italian and English soundtracks. We have newly translated subtitles for the Italian audio because while the script was written in English, the Italian dub is obviously not a direct translation, so these new subtitles are actually based on the Italian translated audio as opposed to using the exact same English subtitles. One of the most enjoyable features was a new audio commentary by Mario Bava's biographer, Tim Lucas, who is insanely informative. He knows the ins and outs of the film, and it's really great to hear him talk about how this film became the epitome of the giallo genre. We also have a new documentary called Psychoanalysis, which again explores the origins of the giallo genre, featuring interviews with Dario Argento, Lamberta Bava, Ernesto Gastaldi, and a few others. We also have a little appreciation segment from the creative duo behind the strange color of your body's tears. Also we have an interesting inclusion which is a Blu-ray exclusive Neo Jalo short film called Yellow by Ryan Heisem and John Britt. This was a beautiful and very gory short film that runs about 25 minutes and while it is a little bit unrelated to Bava, it is Giallo so this allows you to kind of see where Giallo is at today. Moving on we have a visual essay by Michael McKenzie which explores Giallo's relationship with the social upheavals of the 1960s and 70s entitled Gender and Giallo. Moving on we have a panel discussion on Mario Bava featuring Dario Argento, Lamberta Bava, and Steve Della Casa. Next, we have the sinister image Cameron Mitchell, an episode of David Del Val's television series devoted to the star of Blood and Black Lace. And wrapping up the special features, we have an alternative US opening titles sourced from Joe Dante's private print and scanned in 2K, and we have the original theatrical trailer. Now that's a ton of content packed on this one Blu-ray disc. Hearing about the origin of Jalo from all of these different well-respected sources kind of opened my eyes to seeing how Bava still influences modern cinema. Overall, I was really impressed with not only the look of the film, but all of the included special features, the exclusives, and the sheer amount of quality content that's just packed in this steelbook release. To be a little nitpicky, there were a couple defects in the video quality, but it really only shows at the end of the film. There's a slight hissing in the dub, and I really wish they included like a 1.85 widescreen because looking into this a little bit further, that's actually the aspect ratio it was originally screened on. So it would have been nice to have kind of the 1.66 and the 1.85 just to kind of round out the whole package. But I can understand the exclusion because they probably needed that extra room for some of the stabilization process. So I'm not gonna dock any points for that. I think this is a really solid release. And if you like Jalo or you're interested in the genre at all, I highly recommend you pick this up because there is so much information here. So I'm gonna give this four and a half terrible drivers out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't, 
I highly encourage you to check it out because it is such an important part of the genre and it's influenced so many films that we all watch today, including our top pick of last year, The Editor, the Jalo spoof from Astron 6. Thank you again for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything Bloodbath and beyond.